Okay, now we're going to talk about, I've mentioned several times, uh, spatial awareness and spatial pressure and how it affects our interactions with our dogs. With lots of our dogs, we teach the dogs to be spatially aware because we use spatial pressure to manipulate them into different positions when we're teaching them behaviors. But a dog with a natural sense of spatial awareness can also uh, present certain problems when we're interacting with them. So if I have a dog that's very spatially aware, then I need to make sure that when I'm playing with them and making motivation, that I move away from the dogs to draw the dogs towards me. Because if I step towards them or move into them, I have a tendency to push them away from me. And a dog that's very spatially sensitive uh, can have problems getting close to you or interacting with you if you keep moving towards them. Forrest is gonna demonstrate spatial awareness with his dog. His dog is not necessarily a particularly spatially aware dog, but we've taught the dog to be aware of it. So I want you to see what it looks like when a dog is responding to spatial pressure, so you have a visual to go with what we're talking about. So go ahead and just push him around. So if Forrest walks into his dog, his dog moves out of his space. And if he stands still and moves back, the dog comes forward. But if he were to just now just move his hips towards the dog, the dog will actually move out of his space and slide away from him. So that's a dog that's somewhat aware of spatial pressure. Now we've taught that to this dog by rewarding him, by walking into him and rewarding him when he moves away from us, because we use it. But if I had a dog that behaved that way very naturally, so for instance, a lot of the more sensitive herding breeds are very spatially aware. If I deal with border collies and shelties and those type of dogs, they're very spatially aware. So if I'm trying to get them to come close to me and then I keep going towards them, then I have a tendency to shove them away from me. So just be aware in our motivation building and our play building that if you have a dog that responds well to spatial pressure or is spatially sensitive, that you do more moving away from them to draw them into you than pushing into them.